Okay, so now we're all set, we're ready to run. So we're going to go into manual mode, which is a great way just to do a quick test to make sure the motor is operational. All right, so to get to manual mode, we click the tools menu quadrant here, little flyout menu comes out and we pick manual mode. And the manual mode window appears over on the right side of the screen. Movi C products have really good manual modes available to them. You can run them in speed controlled mode, which is what we're going to do here just to make sure they work, but you can also do some uh, test positioning manual mode control. You can do tunings with it. It's really a very capable tool and it's a great improvement over the one found in older products but we're just going to use it in plain old speed control mode. So the first thing I've got to do, of course, is activate it. So I'm going to click activate manual mode and you notice it pops up a big red warning and says I can't run the motor because the output stage is inhibited by digital input DI00. This is pretty much a standard feature on SEW products. The digital input 00 is permanently assigned to the controller inhibit function so if DI00 is off or at ground level, then the VFD is inhibited. You've got to raise it to a high level and on level 24 volts, and then the VFD is allowed to run. So since this is a demo unit, I have a little control box on here with switches. So I'm going to just take that switch and I'm going to switch it on. And that should remove controller inhibit. And you can see it does. The message goes away. Look in the access circle for a second. You notice two things. First of all, the code has changed from 01 to 04. That's the code for manual mode. And the display on the front of my VFD has also changed to 04. And there's also this little hand symbol. If I hover over that, all it says is manual mode's open. All right, well, I know that but it's reminding me. Okay, so manual mode is open. I'm ready to go. I just need to do one final thing. I come over here to the manual mode screen and I click the gear button right here because that reveals a few extra tools. The thing I wanted to reveal here is the acceleration deceleration slider that lets me adjust my acceleration and deceleration. Okay, so all my controls are open. I'm now ready to run my drive. So to do this, I'm going to click the play button right here. And my drive has started up and I'm going to adjust the speed by dragging the little speed slider. And unfortunately you can't see it because I don't have a camera on it, but my motor is turning and I can ramp my speed up. I can go in the opposite direction I can also key in an actual speed right here in the set point speed box like 2000 RPM. Or if I put a negative symbol there, it'll go the other way. I can also reverse direction by clicking this plus minus speed reversal button. And also notice there are keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I want to stop my drive, I could click the stop button here, or I could hit the F4 key. So I'm going to do that right now. And there I've just stopped my drive. I can restart it by hitting F5. So sometimes the keyboard commands are more convenient. I can also change how fast it speeds up and slows down. For example, if I want it to really speed up and slow down quickly, I can adjust my acceleration deceleration slider and let's go up to our maximum speed here. So now my drive is really zooming and I'm going to reverse direction. So it's going to have to decelerate to zero and then reaccelerate in the other direction to 4,500 so this will now take about a half second to do each of those. So within one full second, I should be running at full speed in the other direction. So let's 
Let's try that and looks like it did it. So you can play with this and verify your motor works, but we'll stop it now. I think we're done playing. Okay. Final thing we should always remember to do when we're finished is deactivate manual mode. So first thing I'm going to do is just inhibit the drive for safety purposes. So I've just flipped the switch on DI00 to the off position. Now I click deactivate manual mode and say, do you want to leave manual mode? Yes, that's fine. And then finally I'll close the window by clicking the little X in the corner. So you can see the tool goes away, the little hand goes away from the access circle. The code changes to 01, which means the access is in controller inhibit mode. And there we go.